Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the Friday sharing of Harmonize to Energize. My name is Terry Matthews. I work here at the international headquarters of Jinchin Jitsu in Scottsdale, Arizona, the US of A. So, um, particular warm welcome to those of you that are here for the very first time. Jinshin Jitsu is an art of harmonizing the life energy in the body, sometimes called Qi or Ki. In Jinshin Jitsu, we do that by placing our hands left and right of our center line or our spine, placing our hands on what we call safety energy locks. There are 26 left and right of the spine. And what that enables us to do is to harmonize any blockages in those pathways. So, <clears throat> Without further ado, oh, by the way, Jinshin Jitsu is not a substitute for any kind of conventional medical help. It is a compliment. So today we're going to focus our attention on harmonizing projects with our stomach. The stomach um, flow in Jinshin Jitsu is not the longest flow, but it has uh, the most projects of any other flow. Certainly in um, Jin Chin Jitsu it does. So let's take a look at the slides and we're going to show you the practices or I'm going to show you the practices that we'll do using 36 conscious breaths to help us harmonize any soul, heart, mind, body blockages in our stomach energy. Morning Liz. <laughs> Moment. Oh, Regina too. Good morning, good morning. Here we go. Uh, so let's go, like I promised, to the slides. Ta -da. Oh. Ah, there we are. So yes, here we are again using the... Um, newsletter that I sent out a few years back, Experience Jin Shin Jitsu. And we always had a quote from Mary because, you know, the message that we give our subconscious, conscious, whatever, is important. It has some effect on how the energy is distributed, whether it's congruent or incongruent. So the message that um, I plucked from Mary's book, what Mary says on this occasion was page nine, Quote, see the fun in every situation. Now, fun for Mary was also an acronym for freedom, understanding, and a no thing, which I like to say is really ninth depth, the space between the space, the universal now or void. So all the flows that we practice in Jin Shin Jitsu are ultimately to help us grow into that no thing. There actually is nothing that actually exists as nothing. But it's just extremely tiny, so we don't see these particles of light with the naked eye. Maybe one day the scientists will come up with some apparatus that can measure the tiniest and the tiniest and tiniest particle, uh, particle of energy. I say sparkle because it does spark. So anyway, um, for the new and the not so new people, I like to practice with 36 conscious and aware breaths, which is what Mary B used to teach, to help us connect with the energy that comes into our body, which is light, and also to connect with the energy that's already in our body which is in various forms according to how we've harnessed that energy. And what we do, we've got four practices to help harmonize stomach energy here. And we do four sets of nine exhalation inhalations for each practice. Or we choose one of these four practices and make those our conscious focus for the breaths. Does that make sense? And one breath is a exhale and an inhale. We exhale down the front of the body 
and inhale up the back. We have landmarks or signposts that help us to do this. We start at the four, so tinge like number four, which is the occiput. The energy moves from the four over the head down to the hip line or the 15, and then down to the big toe. I used to kick my leg up and show you your big toe, but I'm sure you all know where your big toe is, correct? So the energy goes four, 15, and seven in a spiral down to the big toe and beyond actually to the ground beneath mother nature the soil the earth filled with lots of mem memories yes probably minerals and the minerals take that excess energy that we don't need and then the earth's energy connected with the cosmic energy which is cosmic purified energy 360 degrees around us brings the energy back up the spine from the big toe back to the hip line 15 2 and then to the four so we have a complete cycle there down the front up the back when we're moving energy or allowing energy to move down the front on the exhale we're letting go of what we no longer need in order to build something new when we receive the breath or the cosmic purified energy on the inhale we're purifying what we just built so there's this continuous let go purification let go purification in order that we're always building something new and fresh inspiring and more pure dare i say so let us begin and <clears throat> the four practices here let's go through them first one holding either the left or right thumb and you can hold segments of the thumb or for that matter if you're doing fingers any segment of the fingers top segment is helping energy in the bus line to harmonize middle segment here is helping the <coughs> waistline to harmonize and the pad of the thumb is helping the hip line to harmonize so I always recommend you just do a little bit of Sherlock and Watson here and you just check out whether there's any tension in left or right thumb and in that way you can choose which thumb you want to work with. And as I said, you may just choose that particular practice and do it for 36 breaths or you may go on to the next one which is actually holding the 19 and the opposite high one and the 19 is between the two tendons in the elbow joint left or right and the opposite high one is the thigh if you slip to the one that's the knee so it's opposites this is like a mediator process here we're connecting with the idea of the energy moving left and right to harmonize both sides of our being so that's the next practice and then we have good old 11, 3, and 15. So in this case, my right hand is going over my left shoulder, connecting to the third thoracic vertebrae, move away, and you should find, could find um, a tender spot there. That's your three, and then into the 15 on that side, or that side, whichever you want to do. And finally, which is close to a hug, we're just going to hold the 19s here. And we said the 19 is between the two tendons and the elbow joint. And we're just going to hold them. All right. Excellent. Wonderful. So I'm going to leave those images up there for everyone, just in case you um, need reminding. And let us begin. Left or right thumb. Exhale. Drop your shoulders. Let them sink in to the 15 of the hip line. Down, down, down into the seven and then receive the breath and allow the energy to move up the back here we go closing eyes is good if you need support for your back put a cush behind your back but just let go surrender nine exhalation inhalations
and there's no particular way of exhaling, inhaling, i.e. out through the mouth, nose, in through the nose, mouth, whatever. This is what is natural to you. And really just drop those shoulders. Let them melt. Lots of tension in our shoulders generally. And then we see the cosmic purified energy up the back. And generally speaking, with Jinchen Jitsu, we're going to feel a pulse wherever we're placing our hands. If and when the energy is in harmony, or it's moving more congruently, or the blockage has started transforming. The pulse feels like the pulse in the radial artery, on the side of the neck. It's a boom, 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 boom. And when you reach the ninth exhalation inhalation, just slip into neutral zone, become aware of where you are now. Just observe how and where do you feel. Feelings precede thoughts, if you think about it. So you get a sense of how and where you're feeling in your heart. You know, in many ways, when we're listening to pulses, we're listening with our heart. As um, Sarah Harper used to say, we are living the heart. The heart of compassion. Where do we feel compassion? In the heart. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the second practice. You can either stay with the first one, change thumbs if you wish. Or do this one. So left or right hand on the 19, tendons of the elbow, right hand on the upper thigh. Here we go. Nine exhalation in.
letting go in order to grow. Surrender. Trust the moment. And when you reach the ninth exhalation, inhalation again to the, the, um, the neutral, which could be the ninth depth. And again, be aware of how you feel, where you feel. Just observe. Stomach, uh, when it's out of harmony, like the spleen, has maybe been overwhelmed by too much concern about things, over concern or worry. Thinking about things ahead or in the past, which we really don't need to. If we stay present, everything naturally unfolds. So maybe now some of those concerns are neutralized. That's a good thing. So the next um, Practice is one hand over the shoulder to the third thoracic vertebrae area and the other hand in the hip line, left or right, check it out. And again, we exhale, drop in the shoulders all the way down through the 15th to the 7th and then receiving the cosmic purified energy, 7, 15, 4. Here we go. And as you reach the ninth exhalation, inhalation again, become you the observer. Notice how you're feeling. One of these practices may be more effective for you at this time than the other. So that might be the one that you continue to practice with for a while. Fourth practice, both hands in the 19s between the tendons and the <clears throat> elbow joints. Exhale, drop shoulders, inhale nine times. Stomach and spleen are of the earth element. So notice how connected you feel to the earth. 
if you need to imagine your feet are stuck in the mud we need to bring the energy from heaven above the head to earth below the feet and then we bring it up from earth back to the heaven which dimension of heaven is another matter completely Receiving that cosmic purified energy, purifying, removing all the dirt, dust, and greasy grime between the cells, the cell walls, and subsequently allowing energy to move through energy pathways to feed the cells much more congruently and revitalize and harmonize our energy field. okay wonderful that's the 36 breaths of those practices and now congratulations you can give yourself a hug this is often a good way to start or end i find um, a 36 breath practice gives you that connection with your heart and lungs bus line 26 here on the edge of the shoulder blade 22 under the shoulder girdle opening up the lungs so this is lung and heart and as we said at the beginning this is like living the heart the art of compassion so we're connecting with our heart our bus line our lungs the soul level mental emotional or you might say emotional mental like i said we tend to feel before we have a thought think about it or don't feel about it and just feel the energy coursing through your energy field through your body and notice how you feel so wonderful Thank you all for sharing in today's practices to harmonize stomach energy. And before we say au revoir, our feet is in, etc., 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 let's have a quick leer and peer of what's happening in the Jin Shin Jitsu universe, courses and classes. On www.jsjinc.net, let's share it with you all. Might be a good idea. <laughs> okay, here we are. Coming up next Saturday, November 6th, we have Anita teaching for a couple of hours, a two-hour webinar, Anita Willoughby, story of harmonizing the spine and the back with Jin Shin Jitsu. Explore flows to harmonize skeletal alignment, scoliosis, lordosis, kyphosis, herniated discs, and ways to reconnect to oneself, exploring page 41, text 2. Um, connect to source, connect to the light. This looks um, very interesting to me. So if you want to um, experience this particular subject matter, register today, $35. Want to use 
PayPal click here. There's replays as there are indeed for all the web app within 48 hours. And you have those uh, replays for three months. The organic conversations, I believe, um, of this series is the last one today, October the 29th, or the, in America, the 30th in Australia. A series of four classes, each 75 minutes long, study groups via Zoom, discussing a wide variety of Jin Shin Jitsu topics, Sarah, Maria, and Jill, registered today. And coming up today, if you like to practice your Spanish or you understand Spanish, Living the Art, which is um, the class for those of us that want to teach self-help and become certified teachers. It's in Spanish, Friday to Sunday, so starting today. Here's your Times organizer here from Argentina. Contact to register. And then November the 3rd, which is, I believe, a Wednesday, an online five-day basic seminar presented by Jill, Jill Pasquinelli. <laughs> I just want to say Pasquinelli. Pasquinelli, apologies, Jill. Wednesday, November the 3rd is Sunday, November the 7th. Here's all your times. More information from your organisers. Kelly and Maggie, new students sign up. In other words, you've never done a living the art before. Review students sign up because you've done a living the art before. Again, three months replay. Another five-day basic beginning November the 10th, this time with um, in English with Maria Miniello from Australia. And it's split into a part one this year, November the 10th, beginning uh, Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday for four hours. And then part two begins January the 12th in 2022. And as I've said before, if you're one of these students who finds it more comfortable to have a break in between learning, this is a perfect opportunity. You're going to get a, a break of a month at least. So there are all your class dates and times. And the daylight savings is on. So doo -doo -doo -doo, there are all the times for all the areas. Your organizer, Julie Wells from New Zealand and Greg Jacaria from Taiwan. Register today. And finally, not last but not least, if you want to see all the replays and get a recap of all what's coming up and what was and what may be in the future, here's all your links. Click on them and you can register there. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Have a good rest of the day. Take care. Look after you and yours. Um, and I will see you um, here Wednesday. And Wednesday, for those of you that don't know, is sharing inspiring stories from Jin Shin Jitsu, those practitioners and maybe instructors who have inspiring stories from around the world are welcome to share them. You just need to let me know what you'd like to share on info. Here it goes. J-S-J-I-N-C dot com. And you can then uh, let me know what you want to share and we can fix up the time for you to do that on a Wednesday in the future. And lo and behold, you are the mystery presenter. Okay, enough from me. Take care. And I'll see you, hopefully all of you, most of you, maybe some of you, next Wednesday for the Mystery Presenter. Bye-bye now.